Hi, this is Sweet June. Coming back at you. Um, I want to talk about, um, as I stated in some of my other videos, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I got a little bit of a cold, so <clears throat> my voice is a little messed up. Um, but as I stated in some of my other videos, um, that I stated that I was a Jehovah's Witness, um, and I want to talk about um, the Christians think that they're perfect, and um, I know a lot of people, um, when people are Christians, um, it's really hard being a Christian because people have the tendency to hold you when you're a Christian of any religion. Um, people have the tendency to hold you to a much higher standard um, than everybody else. And people tend to have a lot more expectations. And yes, there are, there is a way that you're supposed to carry yourself when you're a Christian, um, there is a way that you're, you're supposed to conduct yourself. You're, you're supposed to conduct yourself in a certain way, and you should carry yourself in a certain way um, if you say that, you know, you are a Christian. But people sometimes have a tendency to hold Christ, Christians at an unrealistically high standard. You know, it's like people hold Christians to... Uh, standards that's unrealistic that they expect them to be um perfect and nobody's perfect there was only one person perfect person that walked the earth and that was jesus christ and um and then sometimes people have the tendency to think that um uh, we as christians think that we're perfect and we're not we don't think in most cases no we don't think that we're perfect. Nobody is perfect. And um, I think the difference is, I tell people, this is what I tell people. I tell people all the time um, when I'm talking to people because when I'm when I'm talking to people or, and um, whether it's just having a conversation or if I'm witnessing to someone, um, I don't want them to get the impression that, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to get down to that person's level when you're with, witnessing to this person. So you don't come across as being preachy, you know, like a lot of times, because if you come across as being preachy, sometimes they'll have a tendency to not listen to you. If you um, come across as being preachy, um, you sometimes you want to get the message across to them, um, and you you don't and you want to, to get whatever it is of the message that you're trying to convey to them or whatever it is that you're trying to get across to them you want you want to you want to get you want to get it across to them um, but if they think that you're being preachy or holier than now so to speak then they then they won't listen to you they're not going to listen to you if you come across as somebody that or if they think that you're in the midst of you talking to them, they think that you're being judgmental. If they think that you're being judgmental, or if they think that you think that you're better than them because you, that because a lot of people do have the tendency to think those thoughts. They have the tendency to think that Christians feel like you know we're better than everybody else, or we feel like we're um, holier than thou, or um, they think that we're constantly condemning them all the time, and that's not the case. And if they feel that way, um, some people can can be can get defensive. Some people can get on a defense. And so sometimes when you when I find that when I witness to people that I have to kind of come down at their level to, to help them to realize that hey, I'm just as I'm just as imperfect as you are, you know? And I, and, and if I get them to understand that. If I can get them to understand that, then I can get whatever is that my message that I'm trying to get across to them, then I can get through to them better. 
But if they thinking that, oh, she thinks she's perfect, she thinks she's better than me because she's a Christian and all that kind of stuff, then I, I just, I, you know, you have a harder time getting your message across because then they've they've built built up a wall. Um, they're kind of defensive and they've built up a wall, so you're not going to be able to uh, get your message across to them. And so I always tell people, you know, uh, like people, like particularly co-workers and people that I work with, because um, I'm, I'm talking to my co-workers on a regular basis. I always tell them, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, I said, I, I said, and I've told them that I've said that, you know, I've told, I've told witness, fellow witnesses the same thing that I've told people that. And I tell them, I say, hey, we're just as messed up as everybody else. The only difference is that we try really, really, really hard to live according to Bible standards. I said, that's the only difference. I said, we're just as messed up as everybody else. We're just as imperfect as everybody else. We just try really, really hard to live according to Bible standards. That's the only difference is that we try harder, is that we try hard. You know, we try to, um, we try really, really hard to live according to Bible standards. And that is the only difference. But we're, but we fall short. Um, Christians fall short. Um, um, the Bible says that we have to repent daily, and we should repent daily. Um, as a, as a part of our prayer, when we're praying, we should repent daily because we fall short, and sometimes we fall short, and we don't even realize. You can sin sometimes, and not even realizing you're you're sinning. You know, you might say something. We can sin in our thoughts. We might we might think something wrong, or we might say something wrong. Um, and sometimes we sin, and and not that's unwillful sin. Sometimes we sin, and we don't realize that we're sinning. You know, so we have to repent in the midst of our prayers. We should be repenting and asking Jehovah God to um, forgive us for falling short of his righteous standards. I know when I pray, um, I always end my prayer with, please forgive me for falling short of your righteous standards. You know, um, and I do that in, as a, an effort to repent, like any mistakes that I might have made that day or the day before or whatever, please forgive me for falling short. You know, I'm, you know, I'm repenting for that because sometimes we say things, we might say things or, or do things or whatever that, you know, we're not purposely trying to sin, but you know, we, we're, we're doing it because we're imperfect. We're, we're imperfect. So we fall short. And so as Christians, um, I know I do. I know I fall short all the time. You know, um, I, we're we're a work in progress. You know, is that like I say, the only difference is that we try really, really hard. We try really, really hard to live according to Bible standards. And some Christians fall into serious sin, but when you fall into serious sin, it's like when you fall off the horse. You got to get back up on that horse. You don't, you don't stay down on the ground. You know, you get back up, you fall off the horse, you get, you get right back up. You know, if you commit a serious sin as a Christian, then you get back up, you repent and you turn away from that. You turn away from it. That's what, that's what the Bible says. We're, we're supposed to uh, turn away from the sin because true repentance is Repenting, asking God to forgive you, and then turning away from the sin and try really hard to not commit that sin ever again. And so um, that's if you commit a serious sin, but like um, just falling short, I mean, just being a human being and being imperfect, we're all imperfect. Um, and so just um, in our everyday lives, we might, I might, Let's say for me, example, I might at work, I might inadvertently spread some gossip, not realizing that, you know, I might repeat some gossip, you know. Now, I'm not purposely trying to repeat any gossip, 
But then, you know, inadvertently, I might wind up repeating something. So when in the, in the midst of my prayers, you know, I asked Jehovah God to please forgive me for falling short. Now, if I realize after I did that, that's if that's for the stuff that I, I said or did and I might have not realized it. But if I do something or say something during the course of the day and I notice it right away that it was wrong, then I'm, I'll repent to myself. I might repent to myself and say, oh, you know, Joe, God, please forgive me for, I know I probably shouldn't have did that. or I probably shouldn't have said that, you know, please forgive me. Then I'm going to repent right then and there. But I know most Christians do that. I know we don't think that we're perfect. You know, we're far from it. The only perfect human being that walked the earth was Jesus Christ. The son of God. He was the only perfect human being that walked the earth. All the rest of us are imperfect. And so when we're trying to serve God, we're, we're like a work in progress. You know, we have to constantly keep, keep, keep trying. We just keep trying and we keep trying and we keep trying. And we try really, really hard to um, live up to Jehovah God's righteous standards. You know, but we're, we're, we're going to fall short. We're going to fall short every day of our lives. And he knows that he, he understands that we're imperfect and he understands that we're going to fall short. Now, it's not a religion. I don't think that at the end of the day, no matter what part of any religion that you're in, at the end of the day, it, you have a personal relationship with God at the end of the day because that religion is not going to um, give give you, the religion in itself is not going to give you everlasting life. But at the end of the day, you have a personal relationship with God. You know, that's between you and him. That has nothing to do with anybody else. And so you, you pray and, and like no religion um, should micromanage you. No religion should micromanage. I don't believe that any religion should micromanage you and, you know, say, you know, monitor everything that you do. But that's between you and God. That's between you and God. Um, if you um, say something or do something or whatever it is that you did, like I say in the course of my prayers, I say, please forgive me for falling short of your righteous standards. And I say that towards the end of my prayers. But if I do something throughout the day or say something throughout the day that I probably shouldn't say, and I fall short every time, I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm not going to front. I'm not going to front. I fall short every day of the week. And if I do something or say something, and if I catch it and I realize I did it or said it, then I'm going to say right right then and there, I'm going to say, oh, you know, um, Jehovah, please forgive me for saying that, you know, or doing that. I didn't mean to do that, you know. But if it's something that um, I'm doing or if it's something that I'm saying and I don't really realize that, you know, I didn't, I didn't, that um, I fell short or whatever, then when I say my prayer, I say, please forgive me for falling short of your righteous standards. And that, that, that's like a repentance of all the things that I've done or said and falling short. So to think that for, for people to think that Christians think that they're perfect. No, we're not. We do not think that we're perfect. Uh, most Christians do not think that they're perfect. Um, we fall short. This is just like everybody else does. It's just that we try really, really hard to live according to Bible standards. We try really hard to do the right thing. We try to be footstep followers to Jesus Christ. And we try really, really hard to live according to Jehovah God's and the Bible standards. That's the only difference. But we're imperfect. You know, the Bible says that we're dust that we're all dust. So we're all imperfect. So even as Christians, 
um, we're going to say, sometimes not say the right things, or sometimes we might mess up, whatever, you know. But that's why the Bible says we should repent daily. That we should repent daily. Um, and even if you do something to say something you shouldn't say, I know sometimes I say things I shouldn't say, you know. Um, a person might have not necessarily heard me say it, you know, but God knows that I said it, you know, He, because he knows our every thought. So um, I might have not have said it um, out where somebody can hear me, but God knows I said it. And so he, I know that God, Jehovah God knows I said it. So I'm going to repent right then and there. If I know what I said wasn't right, I'm going to repent right then and there and say, well, okay, please forgive me. You know, I probably shouldn't have said that, you know, and then like that, I didn't repent it. So Christians never, never, ever think that Christians think that they're perfect because Christians don't think that most Christians don't think that they're perfect. Most Christians are, are not perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. Nobody's perfect. I'm saying most Christians are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. The only perfect person that walked the earth is Jesus Christ. So this mentality that, you know, but people sometimes hold Christians to an unrealistic standard. You know, they hold Christians to an unrealistically high standard. And that's where the pressure comes in. That's where, you know, the scrutiny comes in and the pressure comes in. Um, and, you know, yes, there's certain ways we're supposed to carry ourselves in a certain way. There's, we're supposed to conduct ourselves in a certain way. But we're going to fall short just like everybody else. We fall short just like everybody else. So that's, what I, that's all I got to say about that one. So let me know in the comment section what you think. I uh, got some more interesting videos coming up. This is Sweet June.